Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So today we are going to discuss the design implementation on FPGA. This video will be very much helpful for you if you have not performed the implementation on FPGA ever in your college lab. So watch the complete video and don't skip any part. So let's see what all things we are going to discuss in this video. We will see how you can perform the simulation, then the synthesis part, area and power analysis, the pin planning for the hardware implementation, dot bit file generation, and finally, the implementation of design on FPGA boot. So the software which we are using here is Xilinx ISC Design Suite 14.7. And the FPGA board is Nexus Arctic 7. You can use any other board as well. So the window which you are seeing here is the main window of Xilinx ISC 14.7. Here you have multiple options like file, edit, view, project, sources. And here on the left side in this column you are getting multiple files and the options for simulation and the synthesis. One by one we will discuss. So first of all, you have to write your code. You can write either in Verilog or VHDL. So here I have written a code of 3-bit up counter code and the test bench. Then we have to check the syntax of the code, whether the code is written properly or not. If everything is fine, then you will get the green color right tick here on this behavioral check syntax. After that, you have to perform the simulation. So right click here on this simulate behavioral model. On right click you will get a run option so click on the run and the simulation will perform. If you have written the correct test bench then you will get the waveform and if the test bench is not correct then there will be some problem in waveform. So here I have written the correct code and I am getting this waveform of 3-bit up counter. Then we have to change the process from simulation to implementation. So on the left side, you will get this circle. So from simulation, you have to click on this implementation circle. After that, the code which you have written, you have to make the top module. So what you have to do, whatever be the desired file, right click on that and you will get this option set as top module. So click on that and your desired file will become the top module. This kind of three square you will get on that selected file. After making the top module, now you are ready to perform this synthesis process. So to perform the synthesis, right click on this synthesize XST option. You will get the run. So click on that run and the processing will start. Once the synthesis will complete successfully, you will get this kind of green color right tick. This type of green color right tick here on this synthesize XST. You can see my cursor where it is. So then you will get the RTL view and the technology view. RTL stands for register transfer level and RTL view is basically generated for the designing and the verification process. However, the technology view which you can see here, view technology schematic, this is generated which shows the uh, how the design circuit will be fabricated on the chip. So you can see this is our technology view and here we have the RTL view. Then we have to go towards the pin planning. So for pin planning, you have this option IO pin planning post synthesis. You have to right click on that and click on this run option. So basically pin planning means it will allocate the input and output ports to the circuit with the real pin of the FPGA board for the implementation process. And after performing this pin planning, a new window will open of Xilinx plan ahead 14.7. Actually, this process will take some time, like 2-3 minutes it will take, so you have to wait for that. You can see here the .ucf file, earlier it was empty when you have not performed the pin planning, but once that IO pin planning process will be completed, this .ucf file will be generated again. .ucf, UCF here is user constraint file. And this file contains all the information of pin configuration. So here you can see this type of figure we are getting here and here we have all the pin information. This is nothing but the Xilinx plan ahead 14.7 window. And here we have the complete pin planning. This architecture is of Nexus Arctic 7 FPGA board. Here you can see the push button. Then here we have the output LEDs by which we can check how the system is working, how our design is working. And these are the input switches. 
So by using this given pin, we will assign different pins to the ports used in our circuit design. So here you can see for output we have J13, K15, H17. For clock we have E3 and for reset we have L16. So we have to uh, select all these things and press on the save, save button. So once you will save the pin configuration, you will get this kind of .ucf file. Actually, this file will be just updated after saving that pin configuration. Finally, now it's time to implement the design. For that, you have this implement design option. So on right click, you will get this run option. Press on that run. And once that implementation process will complete, it includes the translate mapping and then placement and routing. So there will be a green tick after the processing. Earlier we have this question mark sign. But once we will perform this run operation, after that you will get this kind of green color right tick here. And now we are proceeding towards the generation of .bit file. By clicking on the generate programming file. Here you have this option generate programming file. So right click on that and just run the process and your uh, bit file will be generated. Along with the .bit file, you have other files also like .bit, .ucf, .ngd, .ncd, .ncd, .ngc. These all files will be stored in your drive. So finally, we have to do the implementation now since we have generated the .bit file. So what we have to do, take one Pro FPGA interconnect cable, connect your FPGA Nexus RTX 7 board with your system and now we have to upload that .bit file on our FPGA board. And then you can experience whatever design you have written the code, you can now experience with the LEDs, how your design is working, whether it is correct or not. So here I have written the code for uh, 3 bit up counter and you can see here how LEDs are glowing. It is counting from 0 to 7 and then again from 0 to 7. So my 3 bit counter is working properly. You can check your own design how it is working by using the FPGA board. See this area and power analysis also because when it comes to the final year project whether you are a BTEC student or a MTEC student that time we need to perform the area and the power analysis also and that you can perform by using the X power analyzer. Here on this tools option you will get this X power analyzer option you can see my cursor here it is. So by using you can perform the area and the power analysis. Area you will get in terms of LUTs, flip flops and slices and for power you will get static power, dynamic power and the total power consumption here. So in this way you can complete your entire implementation process on FPGA. I hope this video is clear to you. If you have any doubt let me know in the comment box. If you have not got all the points then watch the video again and then just start doing all the steps on your system. So guys, it's time to sign off. If you have not joined our Telegram group, do join it because there you will get a community where you can share all your doubts. You can share some useful information, materials and some interview related details also. So join our Telegram group and subscribe BLSI Point. We will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.